On a summer afternoon, 14-year-old Jason Driscoll runs through a kickoff drill at football practice, a sport he loves. I just love how it is, you know, just like pads especially. They make me look cool. The gross high freshman is back on the field. Last year, he injured his shoulder during a wide receiver blocking drill. All I knew is that I hit it, my shoulder popped, and then I knew I was like out. When the pain didn't go away, he went to Nebraska Medicine. When when you notice weakness after an injury, especially in a, in someone this age, it means that there's something going on and we need to look into it further. After an x-ray and an MRI, doctors diagnosed Jason with a lesser tuberosity avulsion fracture. It's essentially as part of his rotator cuff had avulsed or pulled off of the front of his shoulder. And that happens to be both a really, really rare injury in young kids, but also a very important muscle tendon that you really need to have intact for a normal shoulder. Having surgery for this type of injury is rare for a teenager. His surgeon, Dr. Matthew Tao, says there's less than 50 cases like this. People 40, 50, 60s that get a rotator cuff tear will approach that in kind of the same way. It's just very rare to have a rotator cuff tear of any kind, and particularly this type in a young kid. Months of rehab and physical therapy followed. Eventually, doctors cleared Jason for full activity after four and a half months. Now he's back in pads and ready to play. He really shouldn't have any limitations or issues with his shoulder going forward. He can do whatever he wants with it. I don't anticipate day to day it would bother him. I don't think it'll limit him from anything he wants to do, either recreationally, athletically, or otherwise in his life. I have good range of motion. Feels good to get back to the game because I missed it. Now, the Nebraska Medicine doctors say the diagnosis of Jason's injury was critical and can easily be missed.